Smart Session is the ability to have a pool of servers used to launch applications. So when you're creating display clients in the Thin Manager configuration, you may have more than one server in which that session can be run. In that case, instead of selecting the server manually for the session to run, Thin Manager allows you to use Smart Session and the features that are built into Smart Session that would allow you to automatically have the session choose the server that is operating under the lightest load. Let's look at how things normally work. In my case, I have two remote desktop servers in my environment, and I'll look at one of my display clients. Let's look at the desktop display client and see how it's set up now. If I navigate to the remote desktop services and workstation options window, you'll see smart session is unchecked. Now, if I move a couple more windows, what we'll see here is that the display client is set to run on RDS one. Now I can, if I want to, add my secondary server for the desktop display client by clicking the add button and selecting RDS2. So now I have two terminal servers in which an application can run. If I come back to windows to the remote desktop services and workstation options, I can select enforce primary. And what that will cause to happen is when a terminal boots and looks for its session and goes to launch a session, it will be forced to launch that session from the server that was listed first. And if the server is not available, then it will use server two. If there's a failover instance of any kind on the session, um, it will move from server one to server two because I have enforced primary checked. If a session moves from RDS one to RDS two for whatever reason, and then RDS1 comes back online, because of Enforced Primary, my session will again boot and run from RDS1 because that's the way I have it set up. Now, in preparation for Smart Session, we'll need to navigate to our display servers in the left-hand tree. By double-clicking on each display server, we can navigate in the Remote Desktop Server wizard to the options for Remote Desktop Server Capabilities. There you will find a checkbox to enable the server to make it available for display clients to use Smart Session. Now to enable Smart Session, we return to the terminal configuration wizard. We just click the Smart Session box and you'll notice that when I click the Smart Session box, the enforced primary goes away. That's because now instead of manually selecting the server order in which my sessions will run, then manager is going to take care of that automatically for me nice and quickly. So now when I hit the next button twice, you'll see that things are a little bit different. First of all, there are no remote desktop servers listed at all. Smart session does no good really, unless I have more than one server online, or it works at least better with more than one server online. I'm going to go and add back in RDS1 and RDS2 servers. If I go and click this add button here, I can select RDS1 and click OK and then I'll repeat to add RDS2. Now I have both RDS servers available to run in this smart session configuration. You can see I have RDS1 and RDS2. So now when my desktop display client boots and looks to start its session, smart session will allow it to look at both of these servers and depending on which server has the lightest load, that will be the server that my session begins on. On the next screen, we have some default settings uh, put in here. And these numbers here are part of a calculation that we use that measures the CPU and the memory and the number of sessions and performs a calculation based on those numbers to determine which server has the lightest load. Now, most of our customer use these default settings, and we would suggest that you begin here if you're going to use Smart Session with these default settings. And then if you find that one of, the, one of your servers perhaps has more CPU utilization than the others, you may want to adjust those, adjust those numbers accordingly. So that Smart Session works a bit better for your particular environment. The other thing to take note of is this queuing window down here. The queuing is really important when you have a lot of clients that may reboot at once. Let's say there's some sort of issue where maybe a primary server goes down or you just had to reset all the clients for one reason or another. Maybe there's just a simple power failure and all your clients coming back online at once, even with Smart Session, all these clients are trying to log in and create sessions at once. 
So what queuing does is allow you to set some intervals where the manager will automatically stack all of the clients that are trying to connect and create sessions in an order. And then it will allow them to connect in an orderly fashion versus everyone connecting at once. And what this does is keeps your server from being overburdened with the sudden onslaught of connection requests. And it lets thin manager manage that in a more appropriate manner. So everything comes up more deliberately and intact. Let's look at what that would look like at the client here and the server rank. Remember, we adjusted the desktop display client to use smart session. And if I look at my server rank here, there is more load on RDS one than RDS two. So technically, if I restart the terminal that's running the desktop display client, it should start the session from RDS two, which has the lighter load. So let's go back over to our terminals. And in our tethered group, the awesome 6300 T has the desktop display client. And if we just drop down here, you'll see I've I've changed the configuration. So this is not showing us anything yet, but there's RDS one and RDS two that the desktop display client can run off of. So now we're going to restart the terminal. And again, as we determine by looking at the server rank window, when this session restarts, it should begin on RDS two. So let's see what happens. The terminal's coming back up and sure enough, if you look right here at the display servers, the session of the desktop display client is running on RDS two. And again, that's because we told smart session to make the decision of where to start the session. And indeed it worked exactly as expected. Again, if we go back to our display client window and look, certainly you can see the spike uh, there where it did make a connection, but certainly RDS two's load was lighter than RDS one. So smart session worked correctly for this example. One last thing to consider when using the smart session feature and queuing again, if I double click on the display client and move through to the actual, to the smart session settings window, one thing to understand is when you're using smart session, you really obviously have to have more than one server for smart session to even make sense. However, queuing can be used even in the event that you only have a single server in play serving up your applications and sessions. You can take advantage of queuing in case there's some reason again that you have to reboot all your clients. By allowing the queuing feature to work, you can allow those clients to boot in an orderly fashion. Again, that's set up automatically by Thin Manager, and that will help even a single server environment come back online much more efficiently.